Recently, when I got my Mac, I started installing stuff, you know, applications, software, and then some stuff I realized I didn't really want anymore. So, on the PC, usually when you don't want anything anymore, you usually uninstall it. And to do this, you will go to the control panel and pretty much go add and remove uh, programs and uninstall something. It's quite easy that way. So, when I got my Mac and I wanted to uninstall something, I was quite confused. There wasn't really any easy options out there that I could really see. There was nothing in the system preferences or anything like that. So I searched around and I actually found a really cool tool to use. So if you head on to Safari, Safari sorry, and you type in App Cleaner, and it should be on the top of the list, and just hit that, and it's freemacsoft.net forward slash app cleaner. It's the top link, and this is the website. It's a very, very nice application. Uh, it's very small and quick to download. So um, once you've downloaded it, you are going to want to install it, of course, and then you're going to want to open it up. So I'm going to hit App Cleaner, and this is what the interface looks like. You have uh, four tabs at the top. You have an Uninstall tab, an Applications tab, which if you hit will pretty much load your applications, just like on a PC if you go to your Add and Remove programs. Um, it has a Widgets tab which are all your widgets. So, for example, if you do this, these are all the widgets that you have. So, if you want to install uninstall one of those, you can do it straight through here. And then there's the Others tab, which is just mis miscellaneous plugins, stuff like that. So, what you can actually do is you can either get an application from your Applications folder. Um, so, if I just go to my Applications folder over here, I could pretty much drag an application that I want and let's just say I want to uninstall Audacity. So I could pretty much just click and drag it straight into App Cleaner and it will recognize it and once I do that it will find all the files associated with it and you can just check the ones that you want to keep. Uh, it's recommended to pretty much delete them all and then you just hit the delete button. It's that easy. But there is actually another way to do to do um, uninstalling applications. What you can actually do is just hit the Applications tab over here, then you'll see a whole list of all your applications. And what you can do from there is just select Audacity, then hit Search, and it will search for all the files associated with Audacity. And then you can pretty much, as long as you have them all selected, just hit Delete. And that's it. They're gone off your computer permanently. Well, not permanently. I mean, they're in the recycling bin. But once you empty your recycling bin, they should be gone permanently. So that is the most effective way to uninstall software uh, that I have found on the Mac. It's quite easy to use. Um, it's much better than having to go around searching for each individual file which is associated with that application. It's much easier. And uh, yeah, I like it. It's it's essential for every new Mac user, or for every Mac user, for, yeah, pretty much any Mac user. But especially at the beginning, if you've got a new Mac, this is one of the first top 10 things I think you should install on your Mac. Because you're going to be doing a lot of installing, a lot of uninstalling, and it's going to drive you insane unless you have App Cleaner. So uh, this has been Daniel for Live Tech Australia with a cool tip on how to uninstall your software applications. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll uh, see you later. Bye.